Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today's video is going to be about using the tab key on your keyboard to check your cut order, the way your laser is going to cut, and what pattern or order it's going to cut. I'm going to delete that and get it out of the way. This one I've gotten ready. So to make it work right, I need to delete all these. And then let's zoom in here. And this would be my cut order. I'm, I don't have anything selected. I'm just going to hit the tab key. And that's the first one it's going to cut. And then it's going to go up. And then it's going to move over. And it's going to cut down. This is real efficient. This is the most efficient way you could possibly do it. Uh, I'm hoping some other people will key in here. Because you can also, uh, so you can see how efficient it is. But it also starts cutting to the top. And then, uh, so if it's coming up, it cuts here, and then it has to move all the way up there. If there was a way you could have it start and stop there and start and stop at the bottom, it'd be, well, it'd still have to jump around. But let's back up here and bring those other ones in. Now these, I just randomly, I'm going to leave them all on the screen, but I just randomly selected these. So let's hit the tab key. And this is the order it's going to cut this one. Look how inefficient it is. It, it goes up to the top and then all the way, almost all the way to the bottom. It's missing those and it's because of the order that I made them. Uh, I just randomly duplicated it on there. And you can see this is very inefficient. Now in the next set, it's a little more efficient, but it's going back to the start every time. Maybe that's too fast to see on the video. So your, your laser is having to go from here all the way over here. Now, we're not talking a lot of time. Each one of these have 64 three-inch circles, and you can see that right here at your bottom, 64 objects. But there is a difference of about, and I ran, I went out and ran this without cutting. You just I left the lid open, and I ran it at one power and 100 speed, and there was only 12 seconds difference. You know, it was like 136 to run this one and 148 to run this one. So we're not talking a lot of time. But if the circles were smaller and you had a whole page of them and it's jumping across the page back and forth, it would be more time. Now, there's really no perfect way to do this. So let's just delete all these real quick. And let's bring this one in. And we're going to use, you can use the duplicate tool. But I'm going to show you, go up to Arrange, Transformation, Position, and we're going to, we're going to make seven copies like that. Now we're going to group them all. We're going to go 0 and negative 3 and make seven copies. Well, I didn't do a very good job. Oh, I did 3 and 3. Um, I need 0 here. And negative three here so it made our copies now watch the watch the runtime it's moving up but it's still going to go down so there's really no way because this is kind of how you created them so there's a couple ways you could fix that if you're going to run a lot it wouldn't be worth messing with but if you would select this group and mirror them vertically, select this group and mirror them vertically. Then when you run your tab, just hitting the tab key, it's going to move over. So you've, you've just mirrored it so it'll work better and you could do that all the way across the page. Now whether it would be worth, now that I didn't do the next one, so it jumps down. I don't know if it's worth the time or the trouble. But if you have something you're going to do a lot of, and you're going to do hundreds of them, and they're, you know, especially if they were smaller circles, and if it had to jump all around the page, it would save you quite a bit of time. Anyway, and if you know more than that, there are some plugins that you can get that would you could fix what order ever tell Corel what order to cut them in, but I think they cost money and they're not. To me, not worth it. 
Now, with that said, engraving does not have anything to do with this because it's going to engrave from the bottom or the top constantly, and it all depends on what you what you have your printer preference at. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.